Hello. This video talks about robot camera calibration in Picket. Calibration is a task of mapping peak points that are expressed in the camera frame to the robot base, such that Picket can send peak points in the robot base, which is what the robot is expecting. There's two different types of camera mounts that are supported by Picket. You can have the camera fixed, like we have here, or you can have the camera robot mounted. And each of those two scenarios has a similar calibration process. Your Picket system ships with one of these plates, which in our case should be attached to the robot. And the camera should be able to see this plate from five different poses that are roughly similar to what we see here in this illustration. So what we are going to do now is to run a quick demo of robot camera calibration in Picket. This is the Picket user interface. And in the status bar, there's a button that says calibration. We see now that there is a valid calibration here for this robot, but nevertheless, we will run a new one. So we click here, start calibration, which triggers the calibration wizard. There's a number of questions that we have to answer. In our case, we have a fixed camera mount. We will do the multipose calibration method, which is the recommended one for the general case. And our robot type is a six degree of freedom one. So we click next. And now what we have is a 2D view of what the camera sees. It's updating live. And what we should do now is to bring the calibration plate in the view of the camera and record these five poses. So I will quickly go here to the Polyscope user interface. And I will attach the calibration plate to the gripper. It doesn't matter exactly where it is attached as long as it is rigidly attached during the capture of the five poses. So I will initially free drive the robot. Here. So when the calibration plate is detected, the markers are outlined in blue in the image and also the frame of the whole image is marked in green. For universal robots, there is an interactive way to do the calibration in which once the plate is located, you can collect each of the poses one by one. So I will start by collecting pose number one. And as the poses are retrieved, we will see that this counter goes from zero to five. Once we have captured the five poses, calibration completes successfully. And we have this final step 
in which we can verify whether the calibration makes sense for us. And it seems to be the case. When your camera is robot mounted, something that you can do is you can check whether the point cloud that is captured of the robot coincides with that of the 3D model. So you could, for instance, toggle the robot and see that the wrist joints are in the same place. If you run robot camera calibration often, we also ship with the Picket UR Cap an example calibration program that steps through these five waypoints. So you have to only define them once, and then you could run the program as many times as you need.